Alright guys, so this is going to be part 2 of my problems with Real Madrid video. So, basically, I did tell you guys that I cut the video in half, so it's going to be kind of a bit of an awkward edit. But, the last thing I was talking about was basically how Real Madrid, they have a team problem, and they need to make sure they can change players, because a lot of players on Real Madrid are starting every game, and the team just doesn't change, even though they can desperately need a bit of a makeover. So, that's where I'm going to continue off with the video. So... Let's get right into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. So you can kind of see that Real Madrid, they're not good at picking a team. I mean, they they pick the team and then they kind of stick with them and they never change. Like everyone else is just a secondary player or a player who's only going to be there for a time. So Morata, they played well um, after they brought him back. They didn't want to give him play time, so he went to Chelsea. Mario Diaz. They don't want to give him playtime, they sell him to Leon, but they used the buyback clause. So they clearly know he's good, but they didn't want to, they wanted him to kind of go to another team to prove himself, but they don't want to let him go, so they just have a buyback clause. So if he's good, they can buy him back. If he's not good, then whatever. So the main issue with Madrid is that they're not signing good players. Now the team isn't that good, and they don't have like an out and out attacking player that they can really depend on. To stay fit for most of the season and to score over 20 goals a season for them. So what I would suggest for Real Madrid is to sign just attacking players. I mean, they can sign pretty much. I mean, Real Madrid is Real Madrid. If they come calling a player to go there and they just give, they just keep pressing and offering them and just have the money ready, then they can sign who they need. So players that I would like to go to Real Madrid. The first player I'd say is Hazard. Now, in the beginning of the season, I wasn't really, like I said Hazard was a good player, but the highest amount of goals he scored was 16, so I wasn't really for it. And with the price Chelsea was charging, I thought it would be better if they would look into another league. But now, seeing how down Real Madrid have gone this season, I think any, any good attacking player would be good for Real Madrid. At least to make sure they can just maintain a Champions League spot for the next season. And honestly, I really think that Real Madrid are in a bit of a crisis, so I think they need to kind of be wary of that, not to fall that far down. But I do think that Hazard would be a great player to put him to sign. Um, another player I think they, they could sign is probably Pogba. He's a good midfielder, even though he's having some struggles at Man U, I still think he's a, one of the best midfielders in the world, and he's a very young player. He's only 24 years, so if they signed him, they can have him for at least the next six years. And I think he would be a suitable successor to Modric because Pogba, he's very dynamic and he can control the midfield and he's just excellent at that. Um, another player they can sign is Milikovic Savic. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you say his name, but you guys probably know who I'm talking about. Um, there are lots of skill videos on him on YouTube. He plays for Lazio and he's an excellent player. I mean, he can play pretty much any midfield position. I think it would be good to have him in the midfield because I think that Casemiro is a good player, but he doesn't give a lot of forward passes, and every time he gets the ball, he always has like a one-touch to another player. So I think it would be better if we had someone who can kind of play like a Busquets role that, Bar that he does for Barcelona. Like Busquets, you can never take the ball off him. I mean, if you watch him play, he he is just an incredible player. I mean, I never used to like him just because I. <laughs> like Barcelona players that much years ago but after watching him play I have to admit he's just a world class player and I would like Real Madrid to have someone kind of like him so I think Milikovic would be a good like kind of competitor and make Madrid's midfield very tough to play against especially if they have him and Pogba that would just be incredible so forwards I already said Hazard um, a striker I mean I think Mariano Diaz would be okay for now I think that if Madrid give him time, he can adapt and get better and start scoring goals. So I would maintain confidence in him because I think he's still a good player and I'd really like to see him play. Um, that's what I thought of him before Madrid sold him. So yeah, I'd like to see a lot more of him. Um, that's another winger. I would suggest Memphis Depay. I don't know how much um, Leon would charge for him, but I think it would be worth it. I mean, he did score like 20 goals a season and he's very talented I and mean, he can take on players he can pull players out of position he's very energetic he fights on he fights to keep the ball 
Um, he has lots of skills, so he would remind us of Ronaldo if he did come, because he does a lot of stepovers and lots of other tricks. And yeah, he's just a very entertaining player to watch. And he would be like if other La Liga teams were going to play against Madrid, they'd be nervous against going against him. And for other positions, um, I don't really have players to, to suggest, but I do think maybe a backup center back would be good. So maybe Marquinhos. I know I just said I didn't have another player to suggest, but I think that would be a good option. Uh, for left back, maybe another left back. Um, Marcel is a great player, but he is getting on the older side. And the best thing that he can do right now is the skills and tricks. But before, he wouldn't defend as much. Like, he would leave a lot of space behind him when he goes up. But he would be kind of... Um, kind of compensating with that with his attacking play and supporting the forwards but now I think Real Madrid should look into getting another left back who's just he's good at overlapping but also good at coming back and defending because I think Marcelo is kind of like one of those players that are kind of holding the team back now so or at least we need a player who can we can keep swapping between Marcelo and that player so I don't really have a suggestion for that but that's where I suggest so that's mainly what I have to say about Real Madrid. Overall, I think they need to basically get more players so they can rotate the team and get more attacking, attack-minded players so they can just score more goals. Remember, Real Madrid have not bought anyone or anyone of, let's say, a high value in about two years or three years actually. The only player they really, the only players they've got, I believe, were Morata, does with the buyback clause. Mariano Diaz with the five back cross, but they still in Morata, so that one doesn't really count. Um, Danny Ceballos, and I think there was another player they got last season, but I don't recall who it was. But yeah, other than that, they've sold Ronaldo, which was for 100 million euros, so they should be good with financial fair play. So they can just go out and spend money, and there should be little to no consequence. But Either way, that's what I have to suggest for Real Madrid, and yeah, Real Madrid really needs to change because if they don't, if they stick with this current this current team, and if people keep blaming the manager for a failure to change the team, which is basically the, the whole club's fault, then Real Madrid are going to have a, a lot of problems coming on. So, yeah. So, that's all I have to say. This video turned out really long, but yeah. That's what I had to say and talk about with Real Madrid. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did stay out and watch the whole video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Cheers mates.